Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of Kicker Rose 2 100% Achievements Journey. Since last video, I was able to set up SIDS automation. I think from this point, my progress in the game is going to be much faster. Let's take a look at where we're at. Since last episode, I've been playing with the automator for SID and I made a much better automation system with clickstorm and batteries. Uh, I'm going to show it to you a little bit later in this video. I cleared wall 3, so now I'm able to do wall automation. I went back to zone 1 because I wanted to capture the automation achievement live. So I started recording just at the end of the zone, hoping that at this, th that this time it pops up. Last time I thought maybe I clicked by accident, but now I think you might need to have world automation on to get the achievement. So the boss is about to die. It's down. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they just popped up. That's good. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, I'm going to show you in game the achievement. See, I'm faster on the buttons now, it's about time. <laughs> there you go, fully automated. There's a bunch of, uh, there's an upgrade I have to do, but I'm not gonna look into that because I know I'm recording for this uh, video. So right now my build as a new player, I uh, always like haste in games. So I'm combining multi-clicks and haste. I have this thing that the more haste you have, the more multi-clicks you have. And because I use multi-click all the time, that's what I upgrade. Haste and multi-click. For now, of course, I'm sure I'm going to find better systems. One of the things I need to do is crit chance. Because right now I'm at zero and uh, when I play automation, sometimes it gets items that give crit damage. So it's completely useless. So I'll show you my automator. Uh, so you have multi-click. Four second cooldown. And then you have energize. Upgrade all items, buy random catalog item, and click storm. So the way I, I set this up, uh, I simply go through the battery and it checks if click storm is on. It's going to turn on the battery right away because I want the battery to be on as fast as possible. It's pretty pretty simple system for now. And I set up to attempt to the highest world. One thing I'm going to do at the end of this star system is go back to zone one and in the world automator, choose to repeat the same world and test how many kills I get after X amount of hours for the kill achievements. I was talking about that in a previous episode, farming zone one. So that's how I'll do it. I don't remember if it was during that run or between that run and the recording of this episode, but I realized that if you let the game run without automator, all your guy does is auto hit and then you barely advance but if you leave the automator on you really progress a lot now what i'm going to do is next episode i'm going to set up the room coder for the wizard which i have no clue how it works this way i'll be able to farm both sides and i keep changing the numbers where it looks like it's gonna be 50 50 between wizard and sid now as I told you in, I believe, episode 2, I promised to do absolutely no research whatsoever. Normally I would have looked it up and I would have known much sooner. But it's fun to discover a game without wikis for once. Automator really makes things interesting. And I'm looking forward to test this world automation thing. And we're gonna see the results of it in next episode. This concludes the fifth episode of Clickery Rose 100% Achievements Journey. My excitement for this game is growing right now as things are moving forward. I think in the next few videos, you're gonna see a lot of progress. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, if you want to support this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.